Well, good day to you. I say welcome to Light in the Word show. I'm your host, Bishop Eric B. Lockett, and I love you. Today we're excited because this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all be glad and revisit joy throughout this day. Amen, somebody. Amen. Well, we got a good show today. We got Dr. Mary Jackson on the show, big time. And she's got her book, and she's going to tell you a little bit about it. And also, one of our old favorites, Shirley Eady is here. So we're going to have a good time today. A good time, we're going to call it a God time. So as we get ready to prepare ourselves, we just want to shout out to also today on the program, we're going to have our good friend, uh, Dwayne Burns is here. And we'll probably get a song from our good minister, Trevor Green. So don't touch that down. Stay tuned, because we've got some exciting information to share with you. At this time, what I would like to do, for those of you in TV land, in the surrounding counties, prepare your heart to meet and greet Dr. Mary Jackson. Dr. Jackson, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Tell the people a little bit about you and your book. Me and my book? Yes, ma'am. Well, the title of the book is Spiritual Food for Thought, and it's biblical, prim uh, biblical principles um, based on the scripture. And uh, what happened, the Lord inspired me, you know, you know how he wakes you up just before the break of day yes. and, you know, inspirational words from the Bible. And, and I used to just lay there and think I could remember. But then I decided to just, when, whenever the Lord would begin to speak to me, I would write down what he was saying. And as a result of that, the, birth, the book was birthed. And so as God speaks to me through scripture, I relate to uh, people through the book. Mm -hmm. You know what? That sounds like Jesus. I they say it Jesus gets up early in the morning. Yes, he does. Before the break of day. <laughs> and he gets to the Lord. And things happen before the break oh, of day. We appreciate you taking time to write that down. Yes, sir. Share that with the people. Amen. And so you write down these thoughts and these scriptures related to it. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so this is a book in time of trouble. Yes, it is. It, it sounds it's refreshing. It's encouraging. And, it, and, it's, and an inspirational book as well. And it encourages, you know, because so many people go through so many situations and circumstances. And sometimes the enemy will trick us into believing that God doesn't hear us. It doesn't do us any uh, good to pray. But God, you know, in his infinite wisdom, he knows how to reach us. And he knows who can use to reach us. And I thank God because he chose me as a vessel. Amen. I thank God, too, because I think you know what you're talking about. I do that prayer. It's yes. powerful. Prayer is the key. It's the key. That's how you communicate to God. Amen. In other words, I found out, Dr. Jackson, is that God is able to talk to 7 million people on the planet Amen. at one time and Amen. give you a different message. Glory to God. Talk to me. He can hear all of us at the same time Amen. in unison, and then he can still decipher every one of our voices, every one of our concerns, every one of our needs. So he's that kind of God. And you know what's so good about your book is that we have to be careful nowadays because there's what they call in the in the world in the church familiar spirits. Absolutely. And that's a difference from spiritual food. Amen. Though that familiar spirit is a flesh thing. Amen. It only feeds your flesh. Amen. It's shallow and it's not deep. Amen. But spirit food for thought, spiritual food. Amen. God said, I'm a spirit. And those Amen. who worship me. Amen. How worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for the spirit because it gives us a so that we will know those familiar spirits. We can decipher. And when we get into the word, study the word, apply the word, we eat the word, glory yes. to God, spiritual food. You know, so I, the, the word says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. And so as I prepare the book, I, I meant for it to be spiritual food for the thought, for the heart, for the mind, so that it will bring power. So now how can a person well, I got my copy. Of you it. got your copy. Yes, autographed. <laughs> <laughs> I think God well, at the present time, you can um, get the book through me at yeah. um, at one of my beauty salons. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you mentioned that. We want to talk uh, to Dr. Jackson. Also, Dr. Jackson is an entrepreneur. She has a beautiful little salon here in uh, the West Side. And what we're going to do at this time, we're going to uh, bring in Shirley Eady. She's a professional uh, hairstylist. Constant. 
and she's absolutely one of the best in the city. So, oh, uh, uh, Shirley, can you tell us a little bit more about Dr. Jackson's uh, beauty salon? Oh, yeah. Dr. Jackson um, has, this is her second location. The first location is on Crusoe Drive. Um, the second location is in the Kingdom Plaza. Um, and everyone knows who the bistro is. Yes, yeah, you're talking about what, Bishop McLaughlin's yes. Kingdom Hall. Or yes, Kingdom, Kingdom Plaza. Plaza. Kingdom, Kingdom Plaza. Plaza. Kingdom Plaza. Kingdom Plaza. Kingdom Plaza. Yes. <laughs> we are. Um, Shout out to you, Bishop. <laughs> hey, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, um, uh, Dr. Jackson actually owns the Eden Salon. And she called me in to manage the Eden Salon. And so it was a blessing how um, it all transpired. I was actually working another job when I came in. I knew that was the place that I knew. And so where's, what's the address of it now? The address is 5310 Lennox Avenue, Suite 21. 5310 Lennox Avenue, Suite 21. 21. Yes. In the, the Kingdom Plaza, the on the west side. On the west side. Yes. And that's at the Potter's House. At the Parvis House. Uh, complex. Actually, yeah, it's a, it's a complex. Um, we're actually getting ready to have what we call the Elements of Eden. The date is June 13th and it starts at 5 p.m. And if anyone are, is interested, it's no charge. We want you to bring your family out. Um, we're going to have some community leaders, a modeling across the stage. We're going to have some senior citizens that's going to be stepping. Um, so this is going to be an event for the entire family. Um, and some entertainers are going to come out and they're going to donate their time um, without a charge because to come support us um, for this great event. So Bishop, we want to see you and, and Pastor um, Lockett walk across that stage. You want us to strut out stuff? I'm going to strut. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I, yes. I'm, I'm on board. I'm down with it. Yes. I like it. Like the young folks say, you can count on me. Okay. It, it sounds, it, it, you know what I like, what it, what it sounds like is that you are like trying to encourage our community, the whole family, absolutely, and everybody to, to be a part of something beautiful. You know, because we, when we were in the world, we would party, we would we buy outfits for kids and throw everything swagged out. But now we can encourage people to want to take time. So we should take time to look even better than we do. Take care of our hair and our skin. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to tell you, Dr. Jackson, you hired a nice, very good person. Here's the whole circle. I've been having to preach and I need to talk. Testimony of preaching with clarity. Okay. My, this has come full circle. My first church service was in her salon on the west side. Look at God. God is God. That kind of God. That's the kind of God he is. I think this is full circle. Yes, he did. <laughs> well, you've heard it for yourself. But Dr. Jackson, I tell you, we appreciate you sharing this book with us. Now, I just want to ask you a little question. Are you from Jacksonville? Well, I was considered Jacksonville when I was born in there.
And I'd also like to make mention of Dr. Jackson's Hair Repair Center located on uh, at 2970 Retail Drive. Okay. I've been on, in the Sutel area since 1982. Wow, that's the north side. That's the north side. I'm on the north side. North side? North side. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good hair repair. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You're doing a great job. You know, because, because people got to feel good about it. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that two locations we want to show that we do. And don't forget the book. Don't forget the book. What they call the book again? Spiritual Food for Thought. Spiritual Food for Thought. Practical Matters from a Biblical Perspective. Practical Matters from a Biblical Perspective. And we know that the precept of God is line by line. Precept of God. He said, this is a precept for you to go get it. Get this book. Change your life. The word will change you. You just think to get Dr. Jackson. Dr. Mary Jackson. You too, also Shirley Eady. And don't forget that big event on June. June 13th. Be there or be square. Amen. <laughs> At this time,